You got your motorcycle. Dad, what are you doing? Daddy out here? just got Getting home. More lights. You got how many boxes? Two. Perfect. They just got finished getting dressed. Yay! Cool. Two so the question, the question is, is where we put the colorful nets versus the white nets? I don't know. I think. I, know. I, think, it's, I think we should go middle out, where it's colorful, colorful. White, 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 white. Okay, we can do that when we go outside. Uh, it's raining. Wait. Good morning, guys, and happy Sunday. Today is the 11th of December. I just finished doing the kids' hair and getting them ready for their day, so they are good to go. No. I woke up this morning sweating profusely, and it's been happening several nights in a row, and I know exactly what it's from. It's from drinking too much coffee, <laughs> like I told you guys before, and then also not drinking enough water. So I went ahead. I have one 64-ounce uh, water bottle at work. So I keep that there and I bring it home like once a week. I forgot this week um, to wash it. And then I have one more, same at 64 ounces that I keep here. So I'm telling myself I'm going to down two of these today. That's a gallon of water. So I know that's what it is. So if I drink more water, I know I'm not gonna be having these issues. So I got that going this morning and I went ahead and took off our sheets to wash into Sunday. So I put just our big uh, comforter in and then once that's done, I'll do the sheet and then the kids as well. So today, unfortunately it's raining. I feel like every time we get ready to do like outdoor stuff between like cleaning up my car and just doing anything that requires like around the house recently, it's always raining. So it's not like heavy raining, but it's enough that it's annoying. So our plan today is to try and get outdoor lights up and then also i'm gonna just do some things with the kids as far as just getting a little bit more like in the christmas spirit so we're gonna be making a gingerbread house baking cookies we're not doing uh like the shape of like uh christmas cookies like the santa cookies and the um, reindeer i'm saving that for christmas eve but we're all gonna bake and just hang out and do stuff like that so um, but yeah, so we're going to go outside and get started with putting up the lights. So these are the lights that we have. We've got five of them. We forgot that we threw one of them away last year because it wasn't working. And outside, we've got three bushes on one side and then three on the other. So Peyton just came back from Home Depot and he was looking for this and they don't have any more. So he went ahead and got multicolored LED net lights, which... We're gonna try and just mix them in with these other ones and hopefully it looks okay. But I think it should be fine. You can also see our Christmas tree from the window. So I think with the Christmas tree showing through the window and then alternating the regular white lights and the colorful lights, I think it should be okay. We just finished putting up the lights and I feel like we definitely put it up in record time today because it is raining outside. So the kids and I are getting ready now to start with our baking festivities. So I went yesterday to Target and I got a few things. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys my haul. So here's my small little Target haul. I picked up a gingerbread cottage kit. This seems like it's pretty large. I figured one, the kids will share this and work together to make it. Picked up some kisses. These are milk chocolate. I accidentally bought some mint ones that nobody in this house likes besides my husband. So I'm gonna take these to work and then we'll replace them with these. Picked up some Betty Crocker chocolate chip cookie mix and then went ahead and picked up some chocolate frosting to go with it. It's milk chocolate, so I know we'll like this one. And we're gonna be baking a cake that'll hopefully last throughout the week. It's yellow cake. And then also some peanut M&Ms. The kids and I absolutely love these. And then one of you guys, I think it's Crunch Time Fitness, um, did uh, comment down below when I was talking about how I bought Summer's Eve feminine wipes and how those probably aren't the best compared to Honey Pot. These are not only 
black owned, but they're also plant derived. So I went ahead and after finishing up using Summer's Eve, picked up these two instead, and I will continue to do so. Aha! Did I <laughs> did I catch you? Did I catch you guys doing something you shouldn't be doing? These two have been running around, jumping on furniture, and wrestling all morning. Y'all need to chill out. Look, I got all the, listen, I got all the Target stuff out. Let's go ahead and get the candy. Listen, are you listening? Yeah, where's right. the Target stuff? On the table, I got the Ooh. candy out so we can fill the bowls and stuff up, and then we can start baking. I'm going to open this. And we're gonna pour it in and there. And we'll pour that in there. These are green, uh -huh. red, and white. We should put all the M Ms and yummy stuff. Hey, you missed one. I missed some. Can I? Yeah. We dumped it in, but you're gonna do the other one. We have the have, M Ms still. You can have some. You wanna open it? No more. Yeah. You got it? It might fall. Okay. See? Alright, let's put these in here. You want one? Sure. Oh. I'm gonna take how many I can grab. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. Oh, so here is how the star looks. The kids are already getting into it. Mm. <laughs> um, I don't have any. Well, you're having something else. You're having the m &Ms. And then here is our candy cane over here. Next to the gingerbread boy and girl that's supposed to represent Harper and Elijah. So hopefully these last throughout the week as well. But I think it looks really cute. So I've already messed up with the baking per usual. I'm always messing up when it comes to either cooking or baking. So the instructions ask for the butter to be softened and it specifically has like in parentheses, not melted. So I don't want to mess it up. So normally like the kind of cookies that we bake are the Nestle that are already like the dough is already formed. All you have to do is cut it out and put it in the oven. So this is like flour and all that stuff that's already pre-mixed. So I went ahead and put the oven on 200 degrees and I put the butter next to it. So that way it can soften a little bit faster. So I'm going to have that next to the oven for maybe like 45 minutes, an hour, and hopefully that softens it enough. Um, and then we'll go ahead and start baking the cookies. <laughs> What do you have? 
So this is the banana guy that flies, and then he bonked his, and then he bonked his string on the ghost's head, and he was like, Bruh, come back here!" <laughs> and then, and then he was like, "That's okay." Did you draw it, or did Harper draw it for you? I did. No. It's it's Let about it's about Avery's comic. Your friend's comic. Yeah. Looks super cool. And it's about this, the banana is a superhero, and this guy is like, yeah. You Maurice. might be a famous, you might be a famous artist someday, Elijah. <laughs> you want to show them Harper's picture? This is Elijah's new pencil case. You put stickers all over it? <laughs> yeah, I decorated it. That's what my pencil case is like, except for not decorated. Cute. And this it has is so baby much cool star in it. Even stickers. I had stickers in mine until I ran out. Oh man. Alright, so we're all chilling Chicken here. Tea. We're all chilling here Maybe. for a little bit. Cookies are done. The cake is currently in the oven right now. I'm just sitting back. My water Ooh. intake is going really well. I'm like 60% of the way through the water jug. And I'm just eating a snack here. I'm eating this is actually pretty protein good. Protein bar. The protein bar. I want to say Peyton got it from Target. Yes. So it's got it's higher in calories. It's 200 calories, but it's got a whopping 20 grams of protein. So it's actually really good. So I think next time we go, I might pick it up again. In a bite? Is it for kids too? You can have one bite. Good, isn't it? Peyton's making lunch here for the kids. Elijah, every time he sees a phone, he gravitates towards it. Do you even know what you're watching? You gotta wait for the ad to be. Hello? That's a fake thing video. All right, watch out. I'm gonna show the cake real quick. Watch out. I'm gonna open this, watch out. You gotta back all the way up, honey. I do not wanna burn you. And here is the cake coming along just fine. Peyton just finished making their lunches. You guys are both having, yeah. oh no, you're having peanut butter and jelly, mm. cucumbers and blueberries, and you're having your favorite deli sandwich. Mm -mm. You're good, you're good, it's okay. And then these are the probiotic smoothie that I bought from Walmart just yesterday. I had it in a grocery haul in my vlog, so I'll go ahead and link that for you guys. But Elijah definitely liked it. He had it yesterday. This is Harper's first time. And normally she's not a fan of the smoothies that I buy from Aldi. They're like the strawberry kind and the strawberry kiwi. This one, let them know you like it or not. Love it. She's a, she's a no, fan. No, 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 no. I thought you meant the sandwich. No, the, the, sandwich. the smoothie. This is okay. It's okay? Yeah. Should I take it back? No. You sh <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is your lunch? That's my lunch. <laughs> Two egg sausage and cheese sandwiches. It's like 600 calories each. Having two of them, having That's a cookie is on board. Y'all, Peyton is trying to put on some weight. Putting on. He's always been skinny all of his life, so he didn't have breakfast yeah. today. That's not what somebody does if they're trying to gain weight. Nope. <laughs> nope. All a, they do is get boy. a lifting weight. Bingo. So he is. He's loading up over here with, what is it? Is that sausage, right? It's sausage, egg, cheese. Two sandwiches, yeah. four bread, two sausages, Mimis. and is it two oh, eggs yeah. on each or yeah, one? One egg, one egg each. And a cookie. Mm, that looks yeah. delicious. Where's your vegetable? In my heart. <laughs> Where all the cholesterol is. Where's where your vegetable? <laughs> and just wipe the sides of it so that way chocolate was not everywhere and then this is our 
cookie container. I cannot remember where I got this from. I think either Target or maybe Amazon. So every time we bake, we put our cookies in here. All of us have already had one and these are so, so, so good. We normally get the Nestle cookies that I told you guys about, but these taste so much better. So I think from now on, I'm gonna be buying the Betty Crocker ones because they're that good. So I just came from downstairs and this is my third time flipping our comforter for our bed to try and get it to dry and it is still not dry. Every single time we end up washing it, it literally takes like all day for it to dry and it's still not done yet. But I went ahead, I am done my first half gallon of water of this right here that I showed you guys this morning. So because I haven't had coffee yet, I went ahead and made my first cup. Um, I am feeling much better. I'm hoping tonight I end up not having those night sweats, we'll see. But so far the water intake is going well. I figured after I finish this cup of coffee, it's 1.50 now, maybe around like 2.30, 3 o'clock, I will start my um, second jug of water, we'll see. But the kids are chilling right now. They're on their Kindle or Harper's Kindle for a bit. And I think I'm gonna try and treat myself to getting my nails done. So I'm gonna go upstairs and get the kit um, that I got when I ordered like a hair um, a few months ago, I think. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that downstairs, um, hang out here with them while I'm doing my nails as well. finished nails they look good from afar but then when you come close up here i'm sure you guys can see it. i have a lot of air bubbles in here so the direction said to put the glue on the nail and then put it on my actual nail and it says press and hold for five seconds it definitely was not just five seconds i had to hold it down for at least one minute so i don't know if i put on too much glue or some of them i didn't put enough glue i have no idea but this is my left hand and then this is my right hand, and this is what this one looks like. I think I did a much better job on the right hand. You can tell there's less air bubbles in this one, especially with my middle finger over here and then also my index finger. So, but overall, I would give it maybe like a, I don't know, six out of 10. So we'll see how long this one lasts. All right, so I just got back from the grocery store. I went to Aldi, which is literally like half a mile from our house. You guys know I'm notorious for literally forgetting stuff whenever I'm cooking. So I got everything for the burgers except for the hamburger buns. So I went ahead and picked up these brioche buns. It's six in a pack. And then my husband prefers this particular brand. Um, this is Kosher Dill Spears and they're fresh deli pickles. So this is the kind that he actually likes. So we'll just chop it up and we'll have that on our burgers. It is still raining outside but it's not that bad so my husband still plans on actually grilling and while i was out the kids have already started with the gingerbread house so they're about you guys are about maybe like halfway done now yeah Fred, we're making a gingerbread house and how's it coming along so far really good good and delicious so this is the front of the house over here mm -hmm. okay there's a chimney yeah. it looks good for Santa, come but they both have doors. You got gum, gum drops up top, and then are these gummies over here? Uh, yeah. like gun, are they're dots. dots. Hey, get back on there, silly fart! Wide awake is the way that you left me. Sat beside in your car in the back seat. Wide awake is the way that you left me. Oh. Now it's clear we are here back at your house And I keep fading into the background I'm wide awake, now you keep missing out for sure kids went ahead and finished their gingerbread house it's sitting on the countertop drying right now so usually harper does not have homework on the weekend she has it monday through thursday and then on friday she has like her off day 
but um, she gets papers and stuff like sent home and that says like CD that she's consistently demonstrating, which means she's doing really well. And then P for practice and then N for needs improvement. So the teacher had sent home its open number line problems and it looks like it was her second try and she had a lot of difficulty with it. She knows math really, really well, so I'm not sure what was going on. I think it was just a matter of like reading stuff and knowing what she's looking for and then creating a math solution for it. So this is the stuff that she's been working on. So as you see here, like here's the first math problem. This is what her and I actually were working on together. I was showing her how to do it, but it just seemed like she had a hard time trying to figure out what it was that she was supposed to do. And then I had my husband go on the internet to look for some like second grade level word problems worksheet. So I have two of them. So we're just gonna sit here for a little bit and try and figure out some stuff so that way she can kind of understand it better. show you guys so I did end up changing my mind about the advent calendars and stuff I was gonna do the 12 days of Christmas because I couldn't find anything and then when I went to Aldi a few days ago I found these and then when I went again today they actually have another calendar specifically for the 12 days of Christmas so I think I might actually do that one next year but I went ahead and picked these up in the meantime and the kids yeah that one's yours the kids have yet to do today's we're actually behind because I got it late so I've been letting the kids do like two a day just to catch up. Oh, these actually look pretty good. I saw one other neighbor that had like white lights and the color lights as well. So we're not the only ones. I want to saw the camera. <laughs> hey guys. Elijah. Wait, we just ate chocolate from the from, from Avon candle and mine is the one right there and Harper is the one at on the floor and mine is on the rug. <laughs> yeah, but the big bummer is that we just like the first one and guess oh, I what? like the, the first second, one. But the second one was the same taste in your stuff that you didn't like it. But I liked it, Seth. <laughs> so the first one I didn't like and the second one I didn't like. Anyway, so... He normally is fond of burgers. I think it's because he's just been snacking on the chocolates that I showed you guys. The peanut M&Ms and then also the milk chocolate Hershey kisses. How could you hear that? <laughs> so I think he's peaceful from that is what it is. So I was really hungry. So I just literally devoured that. And I did finish the second jug that I had planned. So I drank a gallon of water today. It has been such a long time since I have done that. And I feel really, really good. So tomorrow, hopefully I don't wake up with any um, night sweats at all because it's very uncomfortable. But I think that is about it. Um, we had a really good time with baking cookies, making the cake, the gingerbread house. Although Peyton did end up doing most of that with the kids, to be honest, since I was just hanging out with them for most of the day. But that is pretty much it. We're just gonna relax for a little bit. It's about 6.30 now, so um, I still have the kids' sheets to get out of the dryer and then make their beds. Um, I need to wash their hair, and then we'll probably just lounge and just have a casual, like, you know, like movie night tonight, so. But if you guys like the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not yet already, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Mm -hmm.